This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. All right, so this is about a very interesting study that was just published yesterday in the New England Journal of Medicine. So I've talked before, probably other people have talked before about the idea of ECMO, um, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. And there's been kind of a lot of buzz about ECMO for resuscitation, uh, kind of eCPR, so like ECMO CPR. You've got someone who's in cardiac arrest. If you can keep them going with regular CPR and then get them on ECMO, you can really perfuse them and oxygenate them while you're trying to kind of reverse whatever caused their cardiac arrest, whether it's getting into the cath lab or treating the PE or some other thing that's reversible. And you could really theoretically kind of keep people alive for a while and really rescue some people. So there's been this kind of buzz about using ECMO CPR and there's only been a few small trials actually really analyzing whether it works or not or how well it works. There was one study I talked about a few months ago that was small. They had like 30 patients and the people that got the ECMO CPR did amazingly better than people that got regular CPR. And that trial was actually stopped early because it was so good. So this is a f kind of another study that's way bigger. It had 160 patients and it was done in the Netherlands and it's kind of the best study on ECMO CPR to date. And what they did was they took patients who had out of hospital cardiac arrest. And if you were still in cardiac arrest after 15 minutes, they randomized you to either regular CPR or eCPR, ECMO CPR. And they looked at survival with good neurologic function, which is kind of what we really care about is like good neurologic function at 30 days. And then they also looked at it at six months. And for better or for worse, what they found was there was no significant difference. Uh, the eCPR group had a uh, good survival of about 20%, and the regular CPR had a good survival of 16%, but it was not statistically different. So, you know, it's a big trial. Right now, it doesn't look like there's an obvious kind of benefit. There might be some patients that do benefit from this. Uh, I think they have to do more studies to figure out which patients really need it because Getting someone on ECMO is a big deal. Um, you know, you have to continue CPR for a while until you can get the ECMO team and everything set up. So I think more to be determined, but at this point, there's no obvious difference for all comers of cardiac arrest for ECMO CPR. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.